Hey dancers, welcome back to our channel. I'm Julie and I'm the owner and one of the instructors here at Broche Ballet, a ballet school for adults in Denver, Colorado. Today I want to talk to you about pas de beret. There are so many different versions of pas de beret and I want to help you break down all the different ways that your teachers might throw pas de beret at you in class and in various combinations. So let's start with what the most basic pas de beret is. Thinking in your head that pas de beret is backside front. We're going to destroy that all over today, but that is the most basic version is backside front. So if I had my uh, foot in the back, I would start in a plie coupe and I would step back, I would step side with my other foot, and then I would step front with the original foot. Again, that is plie, back, side, front. That is the most basic version. Now let's talk about all the different ways that we can mess that up and change it and use it in different combinations. So we're going to start about, we're going to talk about the start of the pas de beret, the finish of the pas de beret, and then a couple of things in between. So you can get into a pas de beret from a lot of different ways. Let's go over a few of them here. So we're going to start with going into it from a tombe. So a tombe just means to fall. So if your leg is off the ground, you're going to just gently fall onto it. So sometimes a tombe will be the first step of your pas de beret. Uh, so the lead into a pas de beret. So we're going to go tombe. Pas de beret back, side, front. This is very common in pirouette combinations to do a tombe pas de beret. Um, you're going to see it in Grand Allegro all over the place. Tombe pas de beret, it's very common. So again, tombe, back, side, front. With the other leg, that would be from here. Tombe, back, side, front. So that's one way we can get started with the pas de braise with a tombe. Another way is if you had your foot in the front and you wanted to do a pas de braise, you could start with a pas de cheval to uh, lead into a pas de braise. So I could do a pas de cheval side, which is the step of the horse. We're going to go through coupe and out, then plie. Then we're going to step back, side, and front. So again, that pas de cheval, we're going to start with that foot in the front. We're going to go coupe, side, and back, side, front. With the other foot, we start with the other foot in the front. We would go pas de cheval, plie, back, side, front. You can do the same exact thing except a dégagé instead of a pas de cheval. So we just did pas de cheval to plie. You can also do dégagé to pas de beret. So with the other foot front, we would dégagé plié on the standing leg and then pull yourself up, back, side, and front. So we've got a couple ways to start it here. We've got the tombe, we've got the pas de cheval, and we've got the dégagé. So we're going to do uh, just one more way to start here. We're going to start with a plié coupé. That's the very first thing I showed you uh, here today. So that is, if you're, the foot you're going to start with is actually already in the back, then all you have to do is plié coupé and then step up, back, side, and front. With the other foot in the back, plie coupe, so plie standing leg coupe with the working leg, and stepping back, side, and front. So those are just a few ways you can think about getting into your pas de bray. Again, we have tombe, back, side, front. We have pas de cheval, back, side, front. Dégagé, back, side, front, and then we have coupe, back, side, front. When would you use these? It just depends on what is coming right before it um, or what is coming right after it. So it depends on where it fits in the combination, which one of these that you're going to be using. Let's talk next about how to finish your pas de bray. So I've been showing you the whole time, finishing with both my feet in plie in fifth position. I'm going to show you a few different variations of that. I'm going to show these with the tombe pas de beret version of what I already just showed you. So we're going to go tombe pas de beret, the, the most basic version that I already demonstrated, tombe, back, side, and front, where I'm going to lower both feet down into a plie in fifth, or in third if you like third. Um, again, we're going to do another variation where we go straight into fourth at the end. So we're going to go tombe, back, side, and then this foot is going to come out in front to fourth, right in front. This is very often used if you're going to do a pirouette right after this. So you might do tombe, back, side, fourth, then a pirouette and land. Very common to have that go into a pirouette. Uh, the tombe pas de bray, so we have tombe pas de bray to fifth, 
and we have Tom Bay Potabere to fourth. Uh, let's talk about a couple more so we can actually finish the whole thing up so we don't even come down at the very end. You can go Tom Bay back side front and stay up in Susu. This is often in a very cute, kind of a cute scene, maybe a Balanchini type style. You might go Tom Bay and a stay and kind of stay up there sometimes maybe with some fun arms. That's kind of when we'd use that. Um, another time when you might use it is if you're going into a pirouette and wanting to prep being nice and tall. So you might go Tom Bay back, side, su, su, then open to fourth and go for that pirouette. That, that might be another time when you might use that. So you don't always have to come down at the end of your pot of You can stay up to that su, su. So, We've been doing tombe pas de bray. In this case, I'm gonna show you a coupe pas de bray that starts and ends in coupe. So I've got my foot in the back, plie coupe. This is back to that version. We're gonna go back, side, and front. So you notice that as I landed on my front foot, I picked my back foot up to coupe at the same exact time. So again, that's plie, back, side, plie coupe, all at the same time. Then I can go right the way, the way that I just came from and go again back, side, front. So I can go back and forth with my pot of braise like this. Back and forth. These are pot of braise ending in coupe. You're going to use these usually when there's something coming after it where you're going to need to start here in coupe. Maybe it's a jump, maybe it's when you get more advanced or ron verse say that comes around. Um, anything that you might need to have your foot already up in coupe. While we're on the topic of the coupe, let's talk about another kind of pot de bray. This doesn't have to do with starting or finishing. This is the middle of the pot de bray. So this is called pot de bray with pickups or pot de bray de coupe. This is very common in point work, um, but also looks super pretty on flat as well. So we're going to do that coupe pot de bray back and forth using what's called a pickup. So here's your regular pot de bray, back side coupe and back side front coupe. Now we're going to add those pickups. So I'm going to start the same exact way in plie coupe and I'm going to step but pick my front foot up to coupe at the same time. So step coupe, step coupe. So as you're stepping, practice that, just stepping and lifting your other foot up to coupe. So we're going to start again, we're going to go plie, step coupe, step coupe and plie. So it's still backside front. I'm going to show you on flat so I can take a little bit of extra time. So we're going to go step pick up, step pick up, and plie coupe. So coupe, coupe, and down. Coupe. These are all coupe front. Coupe front, coupe front, and down. Coupe front, front, and down. One more time on releve so you can see it at full speed. We go coupe, coupe, and down, coupe, coupe, and down. You can also do these all the way up to passe. Again, very common for point work, especially if you're wearing the big flat tutu, you'd come all the way up to a passe. If you've got a long tutu, it's a little bit harder to get your legs all the way up there this quickly, but you can go all the way up to passe, passe, and down, passe, passe, and down. Last thing I want to talk about here is um, a, the last version of pot de bray, which is a pot de bray over. So we've been doing pot de bray under, which is the back side front. Now we're going to try pot de bray over, which is front side back. So if we started with the uh, degage version, so the basic degage version, if you remember, is whatever foot's in front goes plie degage and then back side front. Now from here, if you were to do another one in the degage version, you would have to do a pot de bray over. So you take your back foot, plie degage, step in front, step to the side, step in the back. So again, take your back foot, plie degage, stepping front, stepping side, stepping back. With the other foot, we would do plie degage, stepping front, stepping side, stepping back. Again, one more time, plie, stepping front, stepping side, stepping back. 
So pas de bras under, uh, sorry, pas de bras over isn't used in as many of the different contexts as I just showed you. It's unusual to have a pas de bras over with pickups. Sometimes you might, but it doesn't happen as often. Um, pas de bras over in general isn't used as often as pas de bras under. Sometimes we use it in a combination where you're doing under and over repeatedly, which I'll show you in just a second here, but you definitely don't use it nearly as much as pas de bras under. So much so that if someone just says pas de bray, it's assumed that it's the under version unless otherwise noted. So your teacher generally won't say pas de bray under, they'll just say pas de bray, and then if they want the over version, they'll say pas de bray over. So um, I'm gonna show you the last thing here is the over and under repeatedly, so you can really work on that footwork. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pas de bray under, pas de bray over, pas de bray under, pas de bray over. This one does not switch sides. We're always doing under with the right leg and over with the left. So we'll just keep our arms in second for this little bit. We're gonna go plie, dégagé, and then go stepping back, stepping side, stepping front. Plie, stepping front and side and back. Plie and front, up, back and side and front. Plie and front and side and back. Then to do the other side, we would have to stop and switch legs. Now we've got our other foot front. We'll do the same thing. Plie, pas de bray under, back, side, front. Plie, pas de bray over, front, side, back. Plie, under, back, side, front. Plie, over, front, side, back. Plie, and finish. That's all for today, dancers. I hope that helps you break down all the different versions of pas de bray. There might even be a few more out there hiding. There are so many versions. This is a very, very versatile step that really helps you just connect your steps together, get you from A to B in a nice, pretty way instead of just walking. Let me know if you have questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time.